Belize's Turnip Atoll is the largest and most ecologically diverse coral atoll in the entire Caribbean. Its incredibly diverse habitats create one of the most productive and ecologically sensitive marine environments in this hemisphere. Located 20 miles east of Belize City, Turnip has been a productive marine environment for centuries. Over the past decade, Belize has become known as an international leader in protecting its exceptional environment, with many of its natural treasures now under protected status. There are more than a dozen marine protected areas along Belize's barrier reef and on the other coral atolls in Belize. But somehow, Turnif, one of the Caribbean's real gems, has thus far been overlooked. The Turnif Atoll, approximately 30 miles long and 10 miles wide, is surrounded by waters more than 3,000 meters deep. An atoll is defined as a continuous coral reef surrounding a central lagoon, and Turnif's large seagrass-covered lagoons are much like saltwater lakes with channels connecting them to the open ocean. These central lagoons are surrounded by a vast system of mangrove islands, which are in turn surrounded by back reef flats and the spectacular coral reef. It is the interdependence of the various habitats that makes Turnif such a special and productive area. Each individual habitat of the atoll depends upon the others for survival. If one is harmed, the others suffer as well. The coral reef, for instance, will not survive without protection from the back reef flats, seagrass beds, and mangroves, all of which filter sediment that would otherwise smother the reef. And the entire ecosystem would falter without mangroves providing nutrients, buffering the atoll from storms, and providing essential habitat for juvenile fish. Along Turner's Reef are several spectacular spawning aggregation sites where massive schools of fish converge to reproduce. After adult fish spawn on or outside the reef, their larvae are protected in the seagrass lagoons and the juveniles grow up on the back reef flats, seagrass beds, or among the mangrove roots. If one portion of the life cycle is damaged, the entire population is threatened. Turnus' unique combination of healthy coral reef, extensive seagrass flats, large mangrove stands, and coastal forests creates ideal habitat for a wide variety of creatures, including a number of threatened and endangered species. Crocodile experts indicate that Turnus supports a population of 200 to 300 shy but endangered American crocodiles, Crocodilus acutus. Cockroach Bay on Northern Key provides ideal breeding habitat for this species and is in fact thought to be one of the largest remaining breeding areas in the Caribbean. Several beaches along the east side of the atoll, particularly on Blackbird, Calabash, and Dead Man's Keys, provide nesting sites for sea turtles including the endangered hawksbill turtle. Bottlenose dolphins frequent the waters of Turnif, and spotted dolphins inhabit the waters around the atoll. The seagrass-covered lagoons and creeks of Turnif provide important habitat for a healthy population of Antillean manatees. Turnif is inhabited by approximately 60 bird species, including the royal tern, the least tern, and the endangered roseate tern. Soldier Key, Pelican Key, and the Grassy Key Range have been documented as nesting sites for terns. The extensive and healthy back reef flats at Turnif provide essential habitat for a wide variety of adult and juvenile fish, as well as invertebrates such as conch. They are also home to large schools of bonefish. The atoll's extensive and healthy coral reef system contains many varieties of soft and hard corals, as well as abundant and varied sea life. The spotted toadfish, found only in Belize, is commonly seen by scuba divers. The endangered Nassau grouper still inhabits the reef at Turnif and several important 
spawning aggregation sites are located on the atoll. The Turnip Atoll has supported a productive fishery since at least 400 AD, when the Mayans, who had established trade routes with the mainland, inhabited Turnip. Commercial fishing in Belize is now export-based, with spiny lobster accounting for 60% to 75% of the value of all fisheries exports. With Turnip being one of the larger lobster producers for Belize, sustainability of this fishery is important to the Belizean economy. Spiny lobster populations at Turnip have declined significantly in recent years, largely due to overfishing. If this fishery and the jobs it provides is to survive, better fisheries management practices must be determined, enacted, and enforced. This will require difficult decisions, but if the spiny lobster population is allowed to decline further, the entire industry could be lost. Conch is another important commercial product of Turnif. Like lobster, conch are being severely overfished and stocks have declined to dangerously low levels. Turnif is known to have several deep conch mating beds that are critical to sustaining the fishery for the area. Again, improved management of this resource is critical. In recent years, Belize capitalized on its unspoiled natural beauty. Tourism, primarily ecotourism, has now become the largest contributor to the economy of Belize. The miles of unspoiled coral reef at Turnif make it a world-class diving destination. Three resorts at Turnif accommodate approximately 1,000 divers each year, generally for stays of one week. Additionally, divers from Belize City, Ambergris Key, liveaboard dive boats, and cruise ships regularly visit Turnif's incredible dive sites. The Turnif Atoll is known as one of the world's premier catch and release fly fishing destinations. Approximately 500 anglers from around the world visit Turnif each year to fish for bonefish, permit, and tarpon. Turnif has, in fact, been listed as one of the top seven bone fishing destinations in the world. It is also recognized as having some of the world's best permit and tarpon fishing. Saltwater fly fishing is perhaps the quintessential example of sustainable tourism, as all fish are released unharmed. If properly managed, this resource can provide the same economic benefits for Belize 50 years from now as today. Ecotourism emphasizing snorkeling, dolphin watching, and birding is becoming increasingly popular at Turnif. With as many as 500 guests per year visiting Turnif for these activities, ecotourism has also become an important economic force. Fly fishing, scuba diving, and ecotourism have established tourism as the major employer at Turnif, currently providing 125 to 150 high quality jobs. More than $5 million per year is injected directly into Belize's economy by these tourism activities. With proper management, this economic windfall can be maintained indefinitely. As is the case with commercial fishing, sustainable levels of tourism must be established. Presently, there are two educational facilities located at Turnif including the University of Belize Institute for Marine Studies. These facilities support research critical to the survival of Turnif and similar coastal environments. While many other marine locations in the Caribbean have been significantly degraded by human-caused disturbances, Turnif has, until recently, escaped serious degradation of its habitats. However, the Turnif Atoll is now in the early stages of human-caused degradation, and immediate intervention is needed to conserve its resources and secure its sustainable economic benefits for Belize. Turnif is comprised mostly of national land, and in recent years, developers have turned their attention to the Atoll. More than 90 locations on the Atoll have been labeled as potential development sites, and approximately 140 properties have been leased or purchased from the government of Belize. Most of these during the period from 1989 to 1993. 
Until recently, the impact of tourism has been minimal. However, the larger developments are rumored and destructive development practices have already begun. The devastation that can be associated with clearing of mangroves is clearly visible at Turner. Prior to Hurricane Mitch, this small mangrove-covered island was cleared of its mangrove. After the hurricane, not even a small piece of land remained. Another small key in the Grassy Key Range suffered a similar fate. Particularly sensitive areas, such as the small keys closely adjacent to the reef, must be protected. Dredging of seagrass beds for development is another destructive practice that should be avoided. Used primarily to build or enhance developing resorts, the practice destroys seagrass beds, a vital part of the ecosystem. More significantly, dredging seriously impacts the coral reef through siltation. A dredging project undertaken within close proximity to the elbow, one of Belize's best known dive sites, has caused significant siltation in this area. The development of over-the-water structures on the back reef flats is another environmentally dangerous practice being considered at Turnif. Allowing development of this site would threaten the most environmentally sensitive and most economically valuable areas of the atoll and would not bode well for either the environmental or economic futures of Turner. With proper planning and protection from inappropriate development practices, Turnif can remain a sustainable resource for the country of Belize, providing jobs and foreign capital into the foreseeable future. Much needs to be done, and the need is urgent. Research to accurately determine sustainable levels for commercial fishing and tourism is urgently needed. The special and most fragile areas of Turnif need meaningful protection, and destructive development practices must be halted. There is still time to implement an effective management plan for the exceptional natural resources of the Turnif Atoll. Action taken now can conserve this unique ecosystem, protect the commercial fishery, and provide sustainable tourism jobs. Your help is essential.